Alright Pinball fans, I'm going to do a little video tonight on the uh, new POV system. Um, the last video I did is like a month or so old. They've changed a lot. So we're going to go over it. Um, it works in uh, DirectX or GL. I just use the DirectX version um, for recording. That way I don't get the black screen loading because OBS doesn't like it. So I normally play with GL, but we'll be doing uh, the DirectX version here, 64-bit. Um, the main thing I'm going to show you, we're going to go over, we're going to go to preferences, video options, um, is your cabinet layout. You want to set a default for this. Um, you want to leave these first four at zero, especially if you want to share or use some of my uh, POV.ini files, um, because these numbers in here will uh, mess up the view. Um, so the best starting point for me that I've found is 15 and 80. 15 on the Y, 80 on the Z, 0 on the rest of them. That's pretty much it. Just hit save, close. Um, I'll do a table that uh, I know doesn't look good. So we'll do the old VPW uh, uh, Tales from the Crypt. I've already looked at it. So we're going to click on it, open it up in the editor. Then we're going to hit F6. It's going to give you uh, it's going to give you a default view looking something like this. Um, you see at the top is highlighted point of view. Now, if you go to the use your right flipper, you can go over to uh, table information. Do it again. You can actually go to your day and night slider. So we're going to go down one. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Maybe about. Maybe about. 10 or something. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go over one more. Alright, so we're going to go to the POV page here. And we're going to go down one. It's on Legacy. We go down with the Magna Save, right Magna Save. It's on Legacy, so I'm going to hit my right flipper. It's on Camera. Hit it again. And it's on uh, Window Mode. Alright, so sometimes you might download a table and it might even look like this from the get-go. If you downloaded an older table that was... Uh, the POV was set up in like the uh, beta 5 version. It, you know, it might look something like this, be sideways, and people are asking, you know, how do I rotate it or whatever. It's simple. Um, if you load it up, it looks like this. It's in the window mode. All you do is press enter. All right. You press enter or your plunger key, whatever that is. Okay. So I'm going to press enter. It's going to turn it around, look like this. And then I'm going to go down to. Uh, where X and then YZ is both highlighted, but I'm going to go down one more, and it'll just be X. So X is your width. All right, so now just X is highlighted. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to go out. Okay, so I'm going to go out about, I don't know, until it looks decent. Something about like that. All right, so I'm going to go down one more, and we're going to shrink this up a little bit. Looks pretty good. Oh, might end up cutting part of that off. So I'm going to go up to my vertical offset, which is going to push it up. You can go up or down. I'm going to go up. Just enough to get my uh, cards in a little bit. All right. So it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go down, go down one more, go down, down. Um... Now you could do the window top Z, okay. So X is your width, Y Z is your length. You can go down to the window top Z, and that basically just tilts it up and down. So if you look here, I can tilt it down into the table, or I can raise it up closer. All right, you got that. So I'm gonna make it look. We're gonna leave it around there. The default was 20. That's fine. So uh, the window bottom Z. We'll go down one more, and that's how close the flippers are to you. So basically, you can make the flippers go away, or you can bring them up. I usually like to have it around 5 or 6. So something like that. That's 5.1. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, you will not mess with X, because X is like it shifts the table from left to right. And you'll never need to do that. So, I mean, they could have left X out. Maybe if you had a table that had a, something on the side of it and you needed to maybe scoot it over a little bit to get it in view or something. But 
90 percent of the time you won't need x so we'll go down to player y um and this gives you like the depth so um so if you wanted to see behind your flippers or something like that or if you wanted to see the objects more so i'll show you here i'll shift it i oh, will shift it the other way so basically it kind of gives you that lay see how the shifters uh, the uh, flippers come where I can kind of see behind them now kind of gives you like if you're leaning over the table or if you're you know you're standing back further away from the table okay um, and that is a table you know that's really just a preference for you which kind of your point of view um, like I said my defaults 15 but with this table here we're gonna I'll give it just a little bit of layback maybe I don't know, 15 just like a good view. I'll leave it around there. I'll leave it. Yeah, I ain't going to mess with it. I'll leave it around 15. All right. And I can already tell. Now, if you look at your bumpers, that's kind of like of a good of ind indication of your uh, Z, like how high the table is. So we're going to go down. We're going to go to player Z. And you definitely know that, ta that the bumpers shouldn't look uh, that tall. See, so you can kind of stretch them out, or you can bring them closer up. And like I said, if you can find a good picture online to get like a, a better view or something, or just to taste, um, I usually try to use the pop, the bumpers to, uh, you know, set that. So I'll look at it here, and probably I don't know. I'll just go up to where they look pretty normal. I'd say probably around a hundred. Hundred looks pretty good. See that? That's kind of like a. It's kind of like a good default. We'll say 101 maybe. All right, 101, 15. So that's it. I mean, that's pretty much it. You have uh, the horizontal offset. Like I said, that moves you left and right. Um, the vertical offset moves you up and down. The table X scales is. For some reason, X is now the uh, width, so that moves you uh, out and in on the sides. Then the uh, table YZ scale, which is actually the Y, um, stretches or, or shortens the table. Okay. Um, you kind of want to try to keep the X and the Y numbers the same, because the further they are apart from each other, the more that the circles you know, like the inserts and all that, they get an oval shape. So the closer they are to one-to-one -one ratio, the better the table will look, of course. But, I mean, I, I'll give up a little bit of oval shape to fill the screen out. Okay? Because basically, if you if you did set it to one-to-one, -one, so it's at 122, if I bring this all the way in to match the other one, 106, I mean, your table would end up looking like this. Yes, you get a perfect circle, but... I mean, I, I don't like playing like that. Now, some people, you know, purist or, or whatever you might call it, you know, they might prefer that, but, but I don't. I'll stretch it out. I don't care. To each his own, you stretch it if you want. If not, it's your, uh, it's your prerogative. All right. So uh, the window top Z, like I said, if you needed a little bit more room, so if I needed just a little bit more room, if I want to bring this down just a little bit, I could do that. However you want it. Some tables have a little bit higher back on them, so you could adjust that. You can adjust that a little bit. All right, and then the wa the window bottom Z. That, like I said, that's your flippers. How close they are to you. Uh, round five, six, between four to six. Let's just say that. All right. But like I said, it's all to taste. Player X shifts you left and right. Player Y, you know. We just showed you it kind of gives you it like a like a tilt. So if you think you're seeing uh, too much of the back of the flipper or not enough of the back of the flipper or too much of the uh, pop bumper or something, you could uh, adjust it to your taste. So like if, if you thought you were seeing too much of the pop bumper, you could just shift this all the way up. See what I'm saying? But then you would almost be look, like looking over top of the flippers. You know what I mean? If you get into the negative. And then if you got further up, then it would be like you was like way behind the flippers looking looking at them. 
so like I said around 15 to 20 I kind of like it I'll leave it in there and uh, let you guys judge and the Z of course is the depth of it and you're just gonna have to eyeball it okay so once you do all that you need to press 1 on the keyboard or start whatever your start button is. so I'm gonna hit 1 that's gonna save it to the new uh, INI file it'll be named the same as your table so if you get a new updated table or something or if you change your table name make sure you change the INI file okay that's it guys um, I'll close this out and I'll start it up see if you think it you know it looks decent there we go hope that helps you guys out if you got any comments suggestions whatever throw down in the comments and uh, till next time